Hi guys, it's Rob Lester here from Lester Bathrooms where we're all about bathrooms. Today, it's not about this bathroom, which is one of my bathrooms at home. I did a while ago, so I could spin round at Collegia. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. But, for the last few months I've been doing a loft conversion at home, which has taken up most of my time. So we're gonna go have a look at the ensuite that I put up there, which I've finished recently. So we're gonna have a look at that. I'll spin you around. Some of it's still a little bit of a uh, work site, as you can see. So this was a spare room. You can see where the footprint was of the spare room. And uh, up there, so we've demolished all of that. The loft hatch used to be there. I won't do a full tour. I won't do a full tour of the loft because I might do that when we're all finished. We're not quite there yet, but I'll show you the ensuite. We've got the stairs, still a bit of plastering to do up here down this hallway but I managed to create two rooms up here which is really great I've been sweating over that for the last few months we're gonna go that way but I'll just quickly show you in the smaller room what we've done in here there's our little picture window that's the Kennet and Avon Canal there you go so that's the little small room and uh, this is the bigger room, which is sort of a ostensibly an entertainment space for the kids. Big TV, a couple of oculuses. I made this unit actually. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, a couple of scaffold boards, uh, just strapped together a couple of little hairpin legs from Amazon. So this, yeah, this is ostensibly a space for the kids to chill out with their friends, have big sleepovers. There's some stuff tucked in there. All these, all these things are sofa beds so they can you can fit loads of kids up here and they can all have a lovely time still bits to do got to put the little doors on for all the little ashlar walls but yeah we're in here here's our little ensuite haven't glossed anything yet so excuse all the doors not being glossed and such but in we go boom look at that you can tell my daughter uses this room a lot this is Pretty much her bathroom I think she's taken over it looking at the color scheme so we managed to squeeze quite a lot in here really pleased with this I was measuring out this enclosure even before we knocked through and raised up and put the steels in because I knew it was always going to be very tight but we just about got that in in there if you can see that it's about about five mil gap with the cap on the end of the profile so that was very, very snug fit. I originally thought we could only get a 700 by 900 tray in there, but we actually got a 760 by 900 quad and the doors are pretty good. Nice big space. So really pleased that we managed to get that tucked into there. Gone for a hands grower, rainfall and hose shower, dual shower. So that works really well. We've had to upgrade because we had um, a gravity fed system. We've had to upgrade to a, a uh, high pressure unvented cylinder. So everything's high pressure standard. So really, really pleased with the shower. Really pleased with that. And then over here, we've got a nice little wall hung rocker two draw unit. There you go. This little tap. I'd had for knocking around for a couple of years, had it left over from a job. I think it's from Bath Store. Um, so that works really well on there. It's really, really cool. Lovely. The mirror is a HIB or HIB, whatever you want to say, 500 Vega. And that has got your multi light changeable whatever illumination. Cool white, sort of a white light. I like it somewhere in the middle. Heat pad in the middle. The loo, we worked out just underneath this Felix window. So when you're standing at it, because we've got an 1100 window, I scalped all the ceilings back of these Veluxes because it gives you just a nicer ceiling line. You can do it with the bottom here. I didn't massively think that was necessary in here, but definitely the tops being leveled out gives you Certainly in here, lots more head height, especially in the shower, because you imagine if it wasn't, it'd be sort of here, something like that. So when you stand at the loo, 
you've got a nice bit of space for your, your tinkles. And then a bit of head height in there for your other one, if you can make that out. I actually went for a bit of a longer projection. I think this is a rocker deba. All my stuff is from Grant and Stone. I get everything from Grant and Stone over here in Reading. So um, they're really good guys. They're really good to me. So they managed to find me. I think it's a 650. Normal toilet's around 600. This is, just gives me a couple more inches. If you're stood in this void to just, you're not having to go too far in, you can just come out a little bit. So that's great. And then this is a little 500 by, I think that's a 900. I can't really remember what I bought. Little tower. I was, a, you know, always a bit wary of having it too far in the corner. So I've brought it over a little bit. This unit, um, it's just our little toiletries, little for guests and things like that. This is ostensibly going to be a guest suite as well as somewhere for the kids to chill out. Uh, all the tiles are a, Really, really nice. Let's get up one of these tiles. Sort of concrete, sort of tamped concrete finish. Can't remember the name of them. All porcelainosa. And the floor is a uh, click lock mountain ash that uh, goes through the whole, the whole of this bedroom up here. You know, I quite like being a tiler. Um, it's a bit strange, but I don't actually like tiles in bathrooms. I think the grout joint gets all messy. I think having a vinyl or a candine is far nicer. Just wipe it over, especially with kids. You just wipe it over, off you go. So I like having that seamless straight through without a threshold in there. Yeah, so there we are. A few little accessories on the wall. Little towel ring, toilet roll holder, a little, little brush down there mounted on the wall little corner basket to keep all the kids knickknacks stuff for the guests up there so we're really really pleased with how it's come out as i say i was measuring and measuring measuring this space even before the staircase went in and because the staircase is dictated by that bulkhead which is the steel we couldn't have it any further that way. And then obviously this has to be a square landing by building regs to match the width of the stairs. And then we, I think I used three by two CLS to make the stud wall. But on this side, I just used um, a six mil hardy backer because uh, these, little, these little measurements all helped the reality of that screen being able to go in or not. And six mil saved by not using sort of a 12 mil um aqua board you know made all the difference i think if i'd have used a 12 mil aqua board on this wall and then by the time we membraned everything because we membrane all our showers um it probably wouldn't have gone in so little details like that just trying to think ahead makes all the difference we've got just a couple of leds in here ip rated let's whack that on so you can see and um, extractor obviously because we're creating a new um, a new bathroom from scratch it's building regulations to have a have an extractor fan in there let's turn that off tick so there we go a little bit dictated to by the girls about the color scheme but i don't mind that i just do the work i don't choose all the fancy stuff so yeah, really pleased with it. And as I say, I'll probably do a final little video when we're finished up here, when all the loft is completed. We're, we're pretty much nearly out of it now and I might do a walkthrough of everything that we've done and everything I've put in. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that and we'll catch you on the next one. Like and subscribe if you can. Don't worry about it too much. I don't really care that much. But. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye.